darlings welcome back to royal appleberry and what i have going on right here is some um soap dough i beat at uh soap sorcery sorcery soap sorcery soaps which i need to get some more i am too lazy to learn how to make how to do it myself but i just prefer to support her because she has very reasonable prices and um why not support your soapy sister you know what i mean so what am i doing today I got a couple of things going on here. I hope that I have enough because this is all that I got left. Um, and if I don't, then I'm at the next idea. But right now, it just feels like a good idea. And to use it the last bit that I have. But I think as soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to order a couple of more blocks. But um, these are going to be little, little tiny miniature cucumbers. That's what they're going to be. Um, I'm going to roll them out, cut them, and then paint them. But... Um, what I got, okay, let, 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 let's get this show on the road. What I got is uh, Brambleberry's, um, what is it, Market, what is it called? <laughs> let me see, I got the invoice here. Farmer's Market Fragrance Oil Collection. I did get that because all over Instagram, I mean, people were just using it left and right and posting all of these fantastic soaps, and I was just like... I want some. So, <laughs> it was very intriguing to me. This is my first time ever, ever, ever using Brambleberry's fragrance oils. So, um, I get to join in and uh, see how this works. And it's odd because the collection consists of four fragrances. It's a raspberry, a blueberry. It's raspberry, raspberry jam, blueberry, thyme avocado and cucumber garden and oddly enough i really enjoy the avocado and the cucumber garden the most gabe and my mom said uh no <laughs> they like the blueberry and the raspberry but i think they just smell so earthy they're, they're just really good smell it smells like a garden and i do like that um and you guys still stay tuned because i am going to use that tomato fragrance that i got I was really, really inspired by Tiggy over at Future Primitive because she sent me a sample which was uh, a tomato fragrance and I fell madly in love with it. I know that sounds weird guys, but trust me, trust me when I say do it, you know, <laughs> um, you're going to want this soap. Trust me, you're going to want this soap. It smells amazing. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Of course, I wasn't able to find the one that she had, which I wasn't looking for the one that she had. Um, she lives in the UK and that's, you know, her thing. But I was really inspired to get um, a tomato fragrance. I'm just that way. Um, so I did find one and it smells just like, it smells, oh, it smells so good. It smells so fresh. I'm not sure if I'm going to film the whole thing. I, matter of fact, I know I'm not going to film this. When I come back, these will be made into little tiny cucumbers. Like I said, I hope I have enough. We're just going to play it by ear and then see what we're going to do. So, I'll see you guys then, okay? Okay, I am back and as you can see, my little cucumbers are done. Um, I can honestly say I did not enjoy making them. Nope, I didn't, but they're cute. <laughs> um, it was really easy to make them. It's painting all the little seeds or whatever. It took a minute to figure out what I was going to use. And when I did find it, it still took forever. But I got it done. So, now, um, the colors I'm going to be using, white base, and then I'm going to use this avocado, which I've never used, from TKB Trading. Um, it's mixed in glycerin. So, I'm going to go ahead and squirt some of that in there. Hopefully, that turns out the color I want it. I've been shaking this stuff forever. And, um... I'm trying to get the colors to mix, but I guess I have to mix it this way. Oh, that's so great. And I'm going to use some dark green, which is from Nurture Soap. I need a little spoon, not that spoon. Um, <laughs> okay, this will do. I have to mix that in some water. And I just want um, very small accent colors. I don't want a whole lot. And then I want a little bit of yellow. This is Sunburst Sparkle Mica from Rustic Essentials. My darling, my love, my everything. Love you guys. Um, and then my little seeds. Ooh, ooh, slippery. My little seeds were painted with Pistachio Mica from Rustic Essentials. 
this one here and the outer rim was the um green oxide from nurtures yes 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 okay so what did i do with my spoon again lord i can't keep my head on if it wasn't screwed to my body it is probably about a thousand degrees outside today <laughs> it's it's 96 and today is may may something or another may 27th so yeah it's blazing like really hot out there it kind of poked my head out i was like <laughs> no <laughs> so i turned around went back in the house which i love hot weather but as soon as i poked my head out the door it was like i got slapped in the face with a brick of heat that's exactly what it felt like so um i'll go out a little bit later it's really really cool in my workspace like to the point sometimes i have to throw on a sweater if i'm sitting for too long it get really chilly down here so i'm gonna move these cucumbers out of the way i didn't paint the backs either because <laughs> what for <laughs> like seriously who's gonna see it um wrap my gloves i'm probably by far the noisiest soap maker you guys ever watched but that's how i roll okay there we go that way glove and then i got two gloves I'm um oh that's what I want to tell you guys this cucumber garden I was reading some of the comments um I mean the reviews on this fragrance it performs very well but a lot not a lot I always say a lot I'm such a liar <laughs> um there was a couple of comments I read where people were just kind of like oh my god this doesn't smell like cucumber at all you know it's it's cucumber garden so it smells like a cucumber garden. It doesn't smell like cucumber melon. It's earthy. It's gardeny. It's it's like a farmer's market, you know? That smells fantastic to me. I love anything that's earthy. So it smells like cucumbers. It has a hint, just a little tiny hint of like that fresh soil smell. Um, I think it's fantastic. So just wanted to put that out there because I don't want to buy bad if we be like, um, this doesn't smell like cucumbers. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It does. It smells like real cucumbers it doesn't smell like that cucumber melon you know fragrance smell that everybody has been buying for a thousand years okay let me get that out of the way and put some of this see it's you can tell it's really cool down here because i actually microwaved this and it's back solidified again these are my oils all right and we'll go ahead and mix those up <music> now i've got my beater i'm just all over the place today i really am i've not made a single bar of soap today and it seems like i've forgotten how to do so um i've had a few people say what in the halibut is that <laughs> that's clay <laughs> i know it looks crazy um i've had quite a few people mention what is all that powdery stuff you're putting in your soap someone said your soap is beautiful but can anybody please tell me what that powdery stuff is <laughs> that's my clays and additives it's good for your skin honey you want it in there trust me you do um oh and then my goatee yodi milk okay making a mess but um yeah so that's what that is this is gonna be lovely and i was actually this was my intention i was going to use real cucumber puree for this and then Gabriel went to the market and I forgot to tell Gabriel to get me a cucumber. So therefore I can't do it. So this is the next best thing. Okay.
so you guys know what I decided to do. I decided to do it in a pot swirl just because everything is starting to thicken up a little bit. Especially, especially this one because I stick blending a lot, like a whole lot, like <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. But um, yeah, so I'm just going to do it in a pot swirl. Oh, yep, cup all in your face. <laughs> I'm holding his back so. Yep, do it in the pot and I think i uh, still get the same results of what I was looking for, if not better. So, because I don't want the hassle of trying to get it to break through and then some of it not having color and blah, 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 blah. So, I just do it this way, mix it in and be right in y'all. So, don't need any for the top. I'm kind of on the fence if I'm going to do, I kind of want to do a micro drizzle. So, I haven't decided yet. I'm gonna do that. I am very, very pleased with the way this smell. It is super fresh. So I think that Gabe is gonna like this once he smells it because it's very earthy in the bottle, but outside it's very fresh. It's just a pleasant, fresh smell. I like it. I don't care about putting the same spatula. Because it's all going to get mixed anyway. Move the back some. Alright. So now. I'm going to take my resin chopstick. And go nuts. In this bowl. <laughs> so. And then I'll take my spatula. And move things around a little bit. get some of that cream color up on top see because there was a lot down there yep looks like I'm about to dump this out this bowl and I keep leaning like that I'm going to <laughs> so now it's just turned to one big old green blob fun okay so yeah it does move a little bit faster than I expected I just cannot stand to have big blobs of one color in a certain area. You know what I mean? This is nice. I like that. Okay, let's get this in the mold. First, let's get cleaned up and then we'll bring in Alex. Alright, so this is my mold, Alex. And let's get this in here. Yep. <laughs> Look at that. That's crazy. Okay. So. Oh my gosh, that is like seriously there we go <laughs> that was not but um we gonna make it do what it do because that's how I roll let me see what do I want to do here I need to kind of stir out that tan color because it is really thick on the bottom and it's not gonna lay right if I don't I'm not worried about muddying anything I'm just really kind of stirring the cream color and as you guys know, I'm going to bang the crap out of this mold to get everything where I need it to go. Make sure I got these bolts tightened up on the sides. And yes, that's um interesting. It is very interesting. So still think it's going to come out really stellar but it smells fantastic it really does I, I, I'm I, I love these colors I really do love these colors and the yellow kind of got lost um, which is fine because cucumbers don't really have yellow in them I just want it yellow just kind of sunny things up a little bit but I'm not mad with what's going on here let me get a bigger spatula I always do this Use these baby spatulas. I ain't gonna work, girl. Okay, where's the big spatula? I had a big one. What happened to it? Shame, shame. Okay, I'll just get this one then. And then, um, I guess I'm gonna really have to do some serious banging on this. And then, I'll bring you guys back. Okay, um, like this stuff is like really thickening up super duper fast. Like, 
faster than I expected to and it's kind of hard to <laughs> yeah you know what I started to do a straight line pour with this fragrance I really did and I should sure have it would have worked perfect for a straight line pour um it's, kind of, it's definitely not what I was looking for you know but I do like the smell of it still so I just gotta figure out how to work this one which I got some more stuff I had plan to do to it anyway so all is not lost but I better get to swirling fast because it's still setting up very quickly as you guys can see it's pulled away from the edges this color uh, even though it mixed in it, it works out nicely for this cucumber theme yeah um, I think I don't know I gotta look again but I think I did see something about acceleration for this one on their website but again I'm not fretting not at all because I do love the colors I just know what I had in my mind's eye you know what I mean but um I think this is gonna look even better just because it really really matches my cucumbers and everything now so I don't know why I'm shaking at it. it's not moving at all <laughs> so um let me give this one more bang down try to anyway okay so now get the dividers in and then we will add our cucumbers would I use this fragrance again definitely yes um I just know now how to work with it because it smells too fantastic not to use again go ahead and put in my dividers wrong ones oh am I missing some no yes yes I'm missing one probably go grab that yeah let me grab that oh it's already here <laughs> okay I won't be shocked if I'm unable I'm if I'm able to unmold this tonight and I don't think I'm gonna do any glitter no I'm not because I really want it to be like fresh like garden like but the way it looks I love it I'm I'm not joking I do love the way this looks I am not mad at all I was just a little taken aback because it was it was working so lovely at first and then everything just kind of thickened up on me very quickly now I do want to do some mm, okay I just decided I want to bring some yellow back to it so I am gonna do some yellow sea salt give me a second to grab so we'll make some Okay, now I think I can put my, well take, take, not put, take my uh, safety glasses off now just because we are in no danger because this ain't moving. <laughs> no danger of anything popping up or splashing. So I'm just going to spray a little bit of alcohol in my salt, in my salty. And then I'm trying to think, do I want to, yeah, I'm going to put my salt first, then my cucumbers. So, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Do I love this? I'm not sure. <laughs> it's funny I keep saying I don't know and I'm not sure, but I'm still doing it. <laughs> well, but I think that once I put my cucumbers on, it's going to really make sense to me. Yeah, I totally lost my yellow. But if it was looser, it would have still been, you know, there. But that's okay. I'm not. I'm not mad. Not at all. And I know, like most of this is not gonna stay. Well, it might because um, it's thickened up. Now I gotta figure out. Oh, that's like really hard. This will be unmolded tonight. <laughs> okay yeah um almost can't even push those cucumbers down on there
Okay, so you know what's funny? This one here is the shortest bar out of all the bars. And I had already decided I was going to keep it for myself. And I made just enough cucumbers. <laughs> There's none for that one. So, um, I guess it worked out perfect. But, um, yeah, this is a lovely fragrance. This is a very fast-moving fragrance. Will I use it again? Yeah, I will. Okay, I'm going to push those down with my fingers. Soap is done. I think it's adorable. I really do. I kind of want to put some more yellow sauce on it. I feel like it needs a little bit more. Let me just try one and see what I think about it. It's not going to stick. I don't even know why I'm doing this. Just because this soap is very hard. It's not going to take anything else and have it adhere to it. But yeah, it's, it's very cute. It is kind of what I had in mind. I'm not going to lie. This is what I had. Okay, honestly, what I had in mind was a little more elegant. And I think it would have been a little too elegant for these cucumbers. And I probably would have said, let's nix the cucumbers. Then I would have kicked myself in the head just because I took all that time making them. But uh, <laughs> this is actually what I had in mind. Colors and everything. I had a little bit more yellow in, you know, in it. But this is lovely. I think it is absolutely adorable. The fragrance fits very well. I will use this fragrance again. Um, I just know what to expect next time. And next time I use it, I will be doing a straight line pour because it's perfect for it. So I'll go ahead and pick this up and show it to you. So there you have it. That is my cucumber garden uh, soap. So stick around because the unmolding is up next which should be i probably can unmold this right now but <laughs> i want so uh i won't so just uh stay tuned it's coming up right now welcome back to the unmolding of this gorgeous soap it smells so freaking good this is the next day and i know this is late but happy memorial's day to you all today is actually memorial's day gabe has been a grilling master so we just got finished eating it's noon now but um lovely outside 90 degrees but it's not like ridiculously uncomfortable it's very very nice and i decided to run down here and see what this soap is doing and of course this is doing just fine <laughs> like i said i'm pretty sure i could have unmolded it last night but i just said you know what leave it alone let it sit what else now, um, I did see a couple other people on Instagram who used this fragrance and um, some did have issues, some didn't. So, it's basically based on your recipe. But like I said, I will use this again, definitely so, because it smells really, really, really good. These are just so much fun. I really do like these a whole lot. There we go. Yeah, okay. I said just uh me being a little bit weak. There we go. Fun, 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 fun. So go ahead and pop that off. I really do love this malt. I do, I do, I do. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, geez, I should just call Gabe down here because I am just struggling to lift this thing. All right, take the back mat off. Is this still wet? Mm, not really. No, it's not. I expected a few blow holes, but I'm surprised that I didn't get more than this. So, you can see I got one, two. So that's pretty good considering. And see, they fall right out. That's really cute. I like the way that looks so much. How cute is that? And it smells fantastic absolutely fantastic and here is Gabriel but I have it now I was gonna have you pop this out for me take my dividers out but I got it now buddy say hi hi <laughs> that looks nice doesn't it look nice and it smells so good it's such a fresh fun soap so guys I'll just do this you know Oh, thank you, darling. So Gabe is going to take the dividers out for me because I'm a weakling. Those are super stinking cute. And they're going to be even... Oh, those are cute. Even cuter once I clean them up. So I'm definitely going to buy some more of this because I want to make some more. Because they're just way too cute not to. Thank you, darling. So he's another. While he's doing that, I'll just hold him up and show them to you guys. So cute. That one off and that one too. There's two more. It smells like a cucumber. It doesn't. Um, <laughs> it smell. You get that cucumber smell and like that garden smell. It's it's so nice. It is very very nice. I I'm not a huge fan of cucumber, especially not cucumber melon. That's why you never really see it in my store. So this was like a refreshing, very nice change um, because it really does smell like a cucumber, a real one. You know. So, not the jazzed up one. This, I love this. This is great. And I think the next soap that I do with this fragrance, thank you, hon. I am going to use real cucumber puree because I think it would be really, really nice. So, there you have it. Hope you guys enjoy the making of this and the unmolding. Um, I know it's a little bit messy over here. Y'all. Yeah. <laughs> so, I knew most of that salt wasn't going to stick. Well, not most of it, but a lot was going to fall off. So, yeah, I'll be cleaning these up, and you will see these in my shops on the 27th of June. Probably before then, just because these uh, accelerated. Um, so, I would say around the, the 20th of June, check and see. They should definitely be there, but these are so much fun. So, guys, that's it. That's all. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of my sack, which is my stinking awesome crew. Um, also, if you want to get notifications, because I don't know what's up with YouTube. It's not just me. A lot of people have been saying that they're not getting notified when, they're, uh, when their subscribe videos are coming out. So, be sure to hit that notification bell. And um, I guess that's it. Until the next making video. See you guys over there. Bye.